and Cadence mm -hmm. from Tocito Homestead. And sister has some new babies that she's raising. We yes. think they're baby finch birds. Um, they, there's three of them. They fell out of their nest. We don't know where mama went, obviously. Uh, we haven't seen her coming back. We've never raised wild birds, but they're actually eating really good. We've had them for about two days and she's got bugs and worms that she's chopping up for them and she's feeding them with tweezers and I'll show you. Yeah, they're doing really good. So we're gonna get some of their feed and show y'all how she's doing it. And we'll show you the babies. Okay, so we got flock party mealworms. Mealworms. Yep. This is one hundred percent natural. We got small bird food. And so she has been syringe and tweezer feeding. So she's smashing everything up together in there and mixing it with hot water or warm water and then um, just getting a tweezer full of it. Yeah. And then just even, dropping it in their little beaks and they're eating it up like even, really good. Even though it doesn't look really good to eat, but it's good for birds. Of course, it's good yeah. for the birds. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we can. Okay, show let's you take it in there and uh, let's show them how you feed them. So they are hungry, ready to eat. They heard mama coming in here, so that's okay. nice. I do. Oh, yes, yes. Here we go. I like that. Let me see. Oh, 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 okay. There we go. We put a, a like a fuzzy raccoon tail hat in here to kind of imitate their mama. And you see that one has done curled up. I just need to curl up against it. Sweet babies. I was hoping that they would lay with it or under it. You know, it would be kind of like, whoops. It would kind of imitate their mama. That's how she does it. And then she'll get a worm and chop it up real tiny and give them little bits and pieces of a uh, real worm. No this girl right it. here is doing an awesome job. She's a researcher. She researched how much they should eat and what they should eat. And she's doing a really good job. So maybe we can save these little birdies. Maybe we can save them and then rehab them and let them go into the wild later when they're grown. Let him do his jumping in the cage now. Can you get down? 
Look at that big old boy. He's getting strong and growing. He's learning how to fly. He's, what, almost two weeks old now? Probably from when he, we've had him for a little over a week. Where do I go now? But he just learned this new trick like five minutes ago. He's, oh, he keeps doing it over and over Let now. Let me get on my finger. He's trying to jump on Put my your finger. Put your finger lower. Oh, 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 I can't. I can't. Look, look. Oh, he, he's, yeah. got his, he's got his foot on my finger. He tried to get on it. Look at him. He's like... So, I'm going to show y'all what happens when you walk in the room with this bird. Watch, move your hand, let me let him fly. Wow. He's flying really good. Oh, give him some blueberries. A blueberry. He just flew. He likes blueberries and cherry tomatoes. Like, can I go get some blueberries? And banana. Uncle, get Sister, get some Oh, buddy. What do you have? Blueberries? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of pinching up the blueberry with tweezers. Yeah. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he is a spoiled little. He's spoiled. Bird. Like, he wants food every minute. I feed him a lot. Oh, uh oh. Drop that one. <laughs> So Milo here is, what is he, maybe almost three weeks old now probably? He's probably about He's three weeks. He's a titmouse. We're pretty sure he is a little bird called a titmouse. I think he is. We're pretty sure by the way he's looking, his coloring, and his noises that he makes, and he has a little mohawk coming up on his head. He shows he, it every now and then. He doesn't always have it up. I have some pictures of his mohawk. so. To feed Milo, he started uh, with his feed a little more thin. We did research, do not give baby, wild baby birds chick feed, like or, chicken or, chick, bread. or bread. Okay, so the chick feed can be toxic to wild birds. So don't feed that, because we started to at the beginning and found out that it it's, could be toxic. So it could kill them. If you find a wild bird and you want to try to raise it, just research. Um, there's lots of things that they can eat, but the main thing to know about baby birds is they need high protein. They need a lot of protein because the main things that their mother feeds them is gonna be things that are high in protein like worms um, and bugs and things, and those are high in protein. Um, and of course, we knew from the get-go that um, the mama bird regurgitates her food into the baby's mouth. So we had to try to imitate that when we got the baby. Just grind their food real good. 
to kind of imitate their mama's vomit. <laughs> it's really gross, but that's what that's what you got to do. And um, what we did was we started with blending um, bird seed, banana, and some worm, like real live worm, some mealworms, and also puppy chow. So it's kind of crazy, but dog food and cat food is actually really good for birds, um, and especially the puppy chow because it's high in protein. Well, you should only feed it to them when they're babies. So they right, be only when they're real little babies, but once they get a little bigger, probably about Milo's age, a few weeks old, you can stop giving the puppy chow and um, give them more fruits and vegetables, and then of course their protein. Um, their worms yeah, and mealworms and nuts and seeds. So put less and less dog food. Yeah, she so. weaned him off the dog food, so he's not getting any dog food anymore. Uh, it started really thin, and you can actually syringe feed it, but it's kind of hard to do that um, because the seeds get stuck in the syringe, and you can also drown the baby bird if the feed is too thin and it comes out too fast. It can choke them or drown them. So we found it easiest to feed him with tweezers and that worked from day one and it has worked perfectly this whole time. And we he's always several, clean them after we feed Yes, them. she cleans them every time after she gets done feeding. She cleans them every day. Basically, she has raised this bird. I feed him sometimes when I come through here and stuff, but um, she's done most of the raising of Milo. So she comes in the room and calls his name and he immediately starts squawking and making his noises and flapping his little wings and he gets so excited. So he knows his name is Milo. Milo! Milo! Oh, he's got a full belly now. He's not going to talk to you. If you get these birds young enough, they'll get used to eating like that from your hand, from tweezers or whatever. Um, and they can thrive. So um, he's a few weeks old. He's doing really good. He's starting to fly. Um, he can fly up. And fly yeah, he just started to be able to fly up like a farther distance because he started just kind of hopping and flapping his rings and hopping from the sticks, you know, back and forth. But uh, yesterday, Cadence opened the cage. Well, that was today. Was it this morning? Yeah. Okay, this morning she opened the cage and he just immediately flew out. And so he flew across the room and we had to go and find him. So um, he was all good. We went, got him back in his cage and he was fine. So he's doing really good. And um, we, as soon as we know that he can fly really well and keep flight, um, and he can forage for his food, um, then we will release him back into the wild because we don't want to keep a wild animal in I don't think he's technically a wild anymore. Yeah, she thinks he's a spoiled little pet, but he's a wild bird and we're gonna have to release him eventually. But so. if he's actually not, doesn't know how, and he's like a spoiled baby, and he's grown that is up true. to it, if you release him and he doesn't know how to do it, and he knows he that will learn how to fly, and he will have his instincts to learn how to find. Well, food. the mothers actually teach him how to pick at things like chickens do. Imagine. Okay. Well, <laughs> everybody's invading my video, so I'm gonna get off here now. Wait, wait, Thanks wait, wait, wait. for stopping by. Thanks for checking out our little Milo here. <laughs> So yeah, if y'all find a wild baby bird or a few that have fallen out of their nest, um, now you know they can survive. You can get them through it and help them thrive and feed them and um, nurse them back to health and then eventually let them go back into the wild. And we will do an update video on how he does when we do eventually let him go. So, um, Thank y'all for watching. Thanks for stopping by the homestead. Take care. God bless. Wait, 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 wait. Not, wait, wait. Um, and be a taco. Be a, be a taco. <laughs> Sorry, this is our, wait, our carport slash den um, wait, construction area. Wait, wait, can I say something? What? Don't wait, be a taco. <laughs> Let me see your head. Let's see, what is this?
What is it? A it sun like, tattoo. It looks like Maui. It's a sun. It looks like Maui. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> ah. Yay. It's summertime on the taco farm, Tetsuto Homestead. It's summertime now, so it's a little bit crazy out here. And yeah, they've been working in the woods today. I climbed a tree and oh. cut down branches. Peace. See y'all later. Show me the bag. What are you eating? Mealworms. They taste like sunflower seeds. Are they, you kidding me? They're healthy for you. Do it again. Wait, show me slowly. No, show me. That's they're dead and they're dry. Seriously, a mealworm that's supposed to be for chickens. Open your mouth. Ugh. Oh, that's nasty. It tastes like sunflower seeds. That's disgusting. They're healthy for you, too. Good. Not oh, my yeah. Lord. Taste it. it actually Not going to happen.